So, you want to go from this to this. Let's break it down. Right on. First, I turn off the bedroom light. Then, I turned on the so-called tungsten practicals, a pretentious way of just saying normal household lights that are warm. Then, I added a daylight balanced light pointing towards the wall. An additional little light from the side to separate me from the background with a warm 2500 Kelvin temperature. And finally, a soft key light. Oh, I forgot. Heza in a Keynza. Haze is not a must-have, but it's fun. Here's without haze. You can see that the highlights are a bit harsher. A general more contrasty image, which is totally fine. For the soft key light, I used the umbrella diffuser, which is an easy portable way to soften any type of light. The LED light panel itself seems to be discontinued, but there's plenty of other options out there. It's just a daylight balanced LED panel with a total power of 18 watts. So, with diffusion, without diffusion. A downside with this type of diffuser is that the light spreads everywhere. I usually address that with a black t-shirt or something. Let's get on with this mighty video. As a backlight, I use a very cheap RGB light, which is more known as the Ulanzi VL49. I guess this one is better because it has a higher number. It has seven more lighting effects, at least. It has bicolor, RGB, lighting effects, and a built-in magnet, which kind of works, but not really. I used the bicolor mode at 2500 Kelvin to match the warm tone of the practical lights. As a background light, I used two additional Hafukus. You can connect how many lights you want with the hot, cold shoe things. I used the bicolor mode at 5600 Kelvin to balance out some of the orange tones. Here's the scene without the practical lights. And now they're back. Hope this video was kinda useful, or at least semi-useless. Give me them thumbs up, yo! Hey, don't.